guys now we are going to see about auto toxic drugs various drugs and chemicals can damage our inner ear and it cause sensor neuronal hearing loss tinnitus and vertigo the auto toxic drugs are amyloglycoside diuretics anti malarial drugs and its cytotoxic drugs analgesic chemicals and miscellaneous first we are going to see about amyloglycoside drugs it cause vestibulo toxic and cochlear toxic if it is damage our vestibule that are streptomycin gentamicin topromycin and some other drugs cause cochlear toxin okay that's all neomycin kenamycin amikamycin sisomycin and dihydrostreptomycin the vestibular toxin drugs are destroy our type 1 hair cell of crista ampullaris high dose leads to cochlear damage and cochlear toxic drugs it destroy our outer hair cell from basal coil to apex of the cochlea we should not give this amino glycoside drugs it's contraindication for some reason who having impaired renal function we should not give to them and older people more than 65 years and who are all receiving other auto toxic drugs and who are all taking other amino glycosides and receiving high doses of auto toxic drugs and who are all having genetic susceptibility to amino glycosides the symptoms are hearing loss tinnitus giddiness and occur at during treatment period or completion of the treatment and coming to the diuretics the common diuretics are furosemide bumetanide and ethacrylic acid it's are all loop diuretics it blocks sodium and chloride ion transport in the loop of the inlet it causes edema and cystic changes in the stria vascularis and cochlea duct it may be reversible at permanent and hearing loss may be unilateral or bilateral and coming to the salicylates it causes tinnitus and sensor neuronal hearing loss bilaterally it interfere with enzymatic activity it is reversible some examples of salicylates are naproxen pyroxicam ketorolog quinine quinine is a vaso constriction in blood vessel of the cochlea and stria vascularis so it reduces the blood supply to the cochlea and stria vascularis it causes tinnitus and sensor neuronal hearing loss and it is reversible the congenital deafness and hypoplasia of the cochlea is caused by mainly quinine who are all receiving whose mothers are received this drugs during first trimester so we should avoid quinine in the pregnancy period and chloroquine hydroxychloroquine it is cause reversible sensor neuronal hearing loss or permanent deafness sometimes cytotoxic drugs that are all nitrogen mustard cisplatin carboplatin it damage the cochlea of the outer hair cells and coming to deferoxamine or desferoxamine it is a iron chelating substance used for in thalassemia patient who receive repeated blood transfusion it increase the iron dosage so leads to sensor neuronal hearing loss its onset of hearing loss and some other miscellaneous drugs also cause sensor neuronal hearing loss tinnitus vertigo that's all erythromycin ampicillin chloramphenicol indomethacin phenylbutazone ibuprofen ibuprofen that uh, tetanus antitoxin propanolol propyl thiourosyl alcohol tobacco marijuana and some topical ear drops cause sensor neuronal hearing loss because it the topical ear drops middle ear to cochlea via oval window and round window it travels through the round window and oval window and it affects the cochlea through the absorption the deafness has occurred in chlorhexidine chlorhexidine is used for preparing ear canal before surgery so it travel through the oval window and round window through the absorption so it's also cause deafness 
थैंक यू सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर